all right so in this video of salesforce bytes we'll talk about how do you add permissions via permission set right as of now what we have been using is the profile to control all kind of permissions but what we'll be doing here in this video specifically is try to add permissions through a permission set and assign that permission set to users to see how access looks like right so right now here what i have on the app launcher is let's see all the applications that i have i have an application that's called av i'm not sure why did i name it av but yeah this is one application that i have and this application has four tabs accounts contacts leads and opportunities right what i want to do is i want to create a new profile and i want to create a permission set through which i'll be giving them permissions for this application these tabs right so that the user who will be given or assigned the permission set will be able to access this application right so let's go ahead and create a kind of a blank or a profile first right let's go to profiles and i'll create a new profile and i'll clone this using the custom sales profile maybe let's go ahead and use custom sales profile and i'll call it permission set profile all right let's save so I won't be giving any permissions on the profile level. What I'll be using is the permission set and I'll be assigning that permission set to any user that's part of this profile, right? So the first thing first, let's check if the tab access is already given, right? So if I go to tab settings, accounts is default on, leads is default on. opportunities is default on so what i want to do is let's let's get rid of this permissions on the profile level so that we can do it via the permission set side okay so let's go and let's say default off let's go to leads and call it default off and let's do the same for opportunities default off okay and what about the applications we wanted to share the av application which is not visible from the profile level okay so which is fine let's go ahead and save it All right, and now now what I'll do is I'll create a user under this profile and see how things look like for this user before giving the permission set. So let's click on new user. Let's see. And I'll give it the license. Okay, I might not have Salesforce licenses available because I might have two different Salesforce license is already being consumed. So let's go ahead and deactivate one of those. This is a free developer edition org. So I'll just have two licenses, right? So let's go ahead. Let's say cancel. Let's go to users. And here I have some users, right? So I have this custom sales profile user. So let's do something. Let's use this test user only. Let's not create an, another new user and let's just assign it the permission set profile instead of the custom sales profile. Okay. So let's use the permission set profile here and let's say save. Okay. So my user is here. What I can do is I can just quickly log in and check how things look like for him with the permission set profile. Okay. Let's click on login. Okay, so I'm logged in as test user one and things have opened up in classic for me. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to provide lightning access to this user. Okay, let's log out of this user and let's log in as our trainer profile user. Let's go to login. Let's go to profiles. I have the profile here, permission set profile. And here I should be able to provide permissions for lightning experience, right? So I'll just type in lightning experience. So there should be a permission for lightning experience user, right? Once you have this checked, you'll be able to see things on lightning. I'll just click on save. Now let's go to view users and let's try to log in again. Things should come in lightning now at least, right? Yeah, the URL is in lightning. So I'll be able to access lightning. But let's see if I have access to the AV application or those tabs, right? So if I go to the AV application here, let's click on view all. I don't see the AV application, correct? So the first thing I want to do is I want to provide the AV application access and then I want to also provide account leads, opportunities, tabs on that, on that particular application, okay? Let's now create a permission set for this particular user. 
so this will help us understand how you can add permissions not via the profile but via permission set and when will this come in handy this will come in handy when you have to provide permissions specifically to certain users not all the users of a profile or maybe users in different profiles that is when permission set assignment comes into the picture and it, 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 it is very helpful okay so let's create a permission set so to do that I'll say permission set there's one more new feature that has come up that's called permission set groups we'll talk about it in another video permission sets and here I'll create a new permission set okay I'll say new I'll call it AV application permissions okay and here is an optional thing that you can do if you know what kind of license users need to access this permission set or can be assigned it you you can choose a license so for our case we have the salesforce license users that need this permission set right so i can go ahead and choose salesforce but it is not a hard and fast rule you can leave it as none if you want to assign it to any and every user okay let's click on save so my permission set is created now i want to do what i want to do is i want to add those permissions here so to add those permissions i have a simple find settings option here if i know what kind of permissions i want to give i can just you know type it here so if i say tab settings it might come up here or it might not come up here right or if i just say tabs let's see what happens nothing is coming up it's saying all tabs right so if i go to all tabs so this is this opens up the all tab section but what i want to do is i want to provide application access right so let's see if i have something for application so i can go to say I can use customize application or in any kind of app. permissions that I'm sure about I can do it from here so I'll go to app manager or rather assigned apps let's see and under assigned apps there's nothing here let me just go ahead and edit it so you see I am able to add some apps you know to be enabled so our av application is the first one because it starts from a i'll just put it put av here and i'll click on save okay that's my application setting what i can do next is let's go back to the permission set overview i also have options to go to places from here so you have assigned apps this is what we open from the find settings right the same thing can be opened from here what what we want to do is we want to provide tab settings so tab are for objects and for objects you'll have to use object settings so if i go to object settings I should be able to see all the objects listed here and for example what I want to do is I want to enable the tabs for account right so let's go to accounts and see the tab setting is currently not available and not visible so I'll just click on edit And make the tab visible right once you make it visible it will also be available like obviously and if you notice you have object permissions also field permissions also and this is for every object that you have so you can manage all kind of permissions that you manage on the profile through permission set also so i'll just click on save so i've done this for accounts let's do it for leads and opportunities also okay so an easy way to do that from this page right here would be if i just click on this drop down and i can go to any object here okay so i can just say leads I can just go to L and I can just open leads from here. The same page will open but for the leads custom object. Sorry, leads standard object. I'll say edit. Make it visible. Click on save. Alright. So I think for now let's do it for accounts and leads. Okay. And let's try to assign this permission set now to a user. Now once the permission set is ready what you want to do is you want to assign it to the user. Now there are two ways of doing it. So if I go to permission set profile and I take a look at all the users there if I click on view users and I open test user 1 I have an option on the top that says permission set assignments what I can do is I can click on permission set assignments I can say edit assignments and I can assign the AV application permission from here that's one way to do it right but if you are on the permission set page you can click on this manage assignments button and even here you can do the same thing so if I click on manage assignment it will give me an option to add assignments now when I click on add assignments it will tell me what user do you want to add this assignment for so I can just choose the test user one and I say assign so what has happened the user test user one has been assigned the AV applications permissions if I have to double check it here I can just refresh and I'll see one coming up here on the permission set assignment okay so if you see the permission set assignment has AV application permissions which has been assigned on 6th June okay now let's do something let's try to log in and see how things look like differently 
So if I log in as the test user one now, so you see, I have the AV application coming up and I can see leads and contacts. All right. I don't see the accounts tab, which is funny, which means there's some sort of permission pending. Maybe I don't have read access to the object at all, which is why it's not coming. Okay. So let's try to figure that out. I'll log back in as the SF trainer profile. And here let's go to permission sets and let's try to give the read permission also. Let's go to AV application permissions. I can directly type in accounts here. And I can go to account settings. So it's a keyword based search. So it, it takes time to load, but I can go to accounts. And here I can just edit and I can provide the read access. Maybe the profile does not have the read access. That's why the tab is also not coming up. So let's provide the read access here and let's click on save. Once I've done that, let's click on. Let's go to the user and try to log in as this user. And now the accounts tab is also coming up, right? So this is how you can provide permissions through a permission set. Any and every kind of permission that you can provide through profiles can also be done via permission sets. Okay. So if I go back to the permission set one more time, so you see assigned applications, connected apps, object settings, application permissions, name credential, flow access, visual force, apex class, any and every permission be it system or be it general can be provided on the permission set and you can assign this permission set to individual users. Okay. All right. Thank you.